you feeling any better? Yes. I think the Dendro Archon, now that I think about it, my wife and I all, I know where that place exists in reality, but it's, but at the same time, I feel as if I should go and have a look any, otherwise, I'll, once I can stop dreaming about that place, actually, you two are adventurers. Yeah, it might also be a good, ch even if you can't see your wife there. Yeah. All right, go ahead. some interesting place with a- Huh? Wait! Aren't you supposed to be answering questions? I just finished. And I really got a lot out of it. Anyway, it looks like you're going so- Oh, there's no need to trouble you, Great Dendro Archon. No need to stand on ceremony. Besides, I wanted to use this opportunity to discuss with you- Huh. I didn't know the Great Den- <laughs> I'm not all that different- Do adventurers often go to places? Huh. So, this is where you always meet your- Yes, for the most part. When I saw her in my dreams, I'd tell her about our daughter, Hydar. She would also reminisce about the past with me. It feels like no matter how- Sometimes, it's the little things in life. This is the part I'm a little puzzled about. I am very familiar with dreams, and normally, they lack logic and continuity, but you said she could remember what you had told her- That's right. She always listened to me carefully in real life, and she always surprises me with some details from our life. Whoa. That's pretty w However, the problem is that his dreams have, for example, a loud noise outside your window, another example. If you're th but the appearance of your wife seems unusually stable- I don't understand it either. But I have no reason to suspect or reject the- But... I still want to figure out the how and the why. Let's go. Just think of it as a na- No matter. We'll just finish them quickly. Huh? Are you going to- Of course. This is all- Let's play here in a little. Ha! Speed 
to deny the power of longing. Such an intent... His wife must be a really amazing person. Huh? Wait! Oh, so you are waiting for me here? Well, when the Dendro Archon said she wanted to come with me, I'll bring Hydar once I'm more familiar with the way here. Huh? What's wrong with it? There's nobody there! Wait, Minar. Don't go that way. Uh-oh, he's gonna fall! Catch him! Whew. Luckily he didn't fall, but he's in the tree now. What? Oh, so he fell. I find it a little strange as well, but we... Uh, uh, huh? Minar. Where's Minar? What happened? Huh? Sleepwalking? Oh, right. It was all just a dream. The moment I reached the summit, I saw my wife, Minar, sitting there. And after I introduced her to you, she seemed a little flustered and started walking away. I told her to stop because of the cliff. And then she seemed to suddenly disappear. A strong wind started to blow around me and the sky grew dark. When I realized something wasn't right, I woke up. That sounds pretty wild. Maybe you were just too tired. I don't think so. I slept a lot yesterday and... Maybe we've affected the way his subconscious constructs dream... Anyway, all that matters is that you woke up safe and... I think I know what happened now. I'm sorry. Let's head back now. Don't come back. Oh, okay. Nahida, what's on your mind? Paimon's a little worried now. We still don't have enough evidence to work off of, so it's hard to draw any... Oh, right! Come to think of it, there were lots of people from the event... Right. And not only at a moment of dreams, there may be people... We need to understand what's happening and the rate of... Then there's no time to lose! Let's head... Stop standing there, Ilmon! Let's go! You're back already! How'd it go? We have an emergency on our hands. Please notify everyone here that while they can continue to discuss their dreams, they mustn't try to visit or recreate- What? Uh, all right. If- but could you at least tell me what happened? You all look so serious. I see. I never knew even- a Don't worry. I'll be sure to notify all the event participants and inform- Using the event registration list, I should be able to contact more people that were in- Thank you. That would be very helpful. Let me confirm if all of today's participants are still here. Atta has already left. 
It seemed that he was on his way to make a hammer, so that should- Has anyone seen Katya? Has she already left? Oh, I, I think she already left. She's- Oh no. Did she want to look for the place from her dreams too? Can you tell us where she went? Yes, she did briefly mention it. Alright, thank you. We'll go look for her. Please help us tell the others not to do anything reckless. Sure thing. Oh, <sighs> who would have known things would have turned out like this? She hasn't been injured or jolted awake yet. See you tomorrow, Professor Aisha. <sighs> huh? What? Why am I back here dreaming? Oh, I see. Huh? Nearly 20 years, and it still ha Does it have something to do with your dream? Ah, uh, sorry. I'm still... F <sighs> All right. Where to start? She was a good friend of my parents. And my first real tutor. In addition to her extraordinary academic talents, she was also skilled in combat. Oh, so you mean she Yes. When I was about ten years old, she told- I grabbed hold of her and wouldn't let go. I- she hugged me, and we cried for some time until I fell asleep. She still decided to leave, but had left behind a letter. She claimed that- Investigating the Abyss could help more ordinary people. She had obtained some important evidence during her past adventures. If she didn't set off- Guess Ad Astra Abyssosk isn't just- She left a seed in the letter, telling me that if it sprouted and bloomed, she said she looked forward to seeing me all grow- But strangely, I've tried watering it. I even went to ask the Immorta researchers. May I have a look at the plant? Of course. I was hoping the Great Dendro- let me see. Hmm. Uh, huh? We've never seen that look on it. She... She looks a little unwell. Um, hold on, we'll be... What's wrong, Nita? You can't tell what- No... I immediately understood what's happening with this plant is not known to the academic world. It's a new species that are judging by its features. I... It, it can't be! It means that this Professor Aisha she keeps mentioning might have foreseen the thing. From my experience observing people, she would undoubtedly when forced to confront such brutal truths, people may break down into tea. I know she has to face the truth, but... At the same time... Yeah... That's a tricky one. Um, but... Wouldn't that mean I'm just pushing it all on you? It's alright. There are all kinds of people, and the examples you observe... Uh, uh, okay... Let's go back and tell her. Huh? It'll... What? How is that possible? If a plant is unable to bloom, are you saying she never intended to return? But she meant well. Since the separation was inevitable, she hoped... Yeah, her love, care, and attention to you? Oh, I guess she had hoped that you could understand and respect her choice. I see. 
Sorry, I don't want to sound ungrateful. The dreams are so beautiful. I really thought she had come back. I had so... These dreams may not be as pure and beautiful as they seem. <sighs> yes, so with that in mind, until our investigation is completed, please... I see. Thank you for rescuing me. And otherwise, I wouldn't have anything left to remember her by. Thanks, Traveler and Paimon. She seems to have... I saw her waver the moment you mentioned love. It was almost like a gentle ring. It's because people have something called... Empathy? By the way, you said there may be something that's trying to exploit their feelings. Yes. What's common between Ilmon and Katia's and now, they get to meet the people they cherish in their dreams again. Instead of interpreting it as a result of their longing, I have to consider a more antagonist. Yeah, they're just causing these people to dream. This is exactly what we need to investigate. I have a bad feeling about all this. I am so sorry, Great Dendro Archon. Because of your warning, we've brought dreamers here even if... But some of them have already fallen asleep, and a moment of dreams is just a small interest group. Just as I expected. It it's the Dendro Archon. She's back. Uh, what happened? W why have we been gathered here? Many of you here have been experiencing some... But I'm sorry to tell you that based on our investigation, there's... Before we learn the truth, please don't try to recreate the scenes in your dreams. Whatever you see... D huh? I don't think it's a big deal. Aren't we just dreaming? We've already met two people who ran off to the countryside alone and got... That's right! These aren't just dreams! It... All right, I get it, I get it. So does that mean once we have some conclusive results... Yeah, I still want to visit my sister in my dreams. I'm sorry if what I'm about to say sounds a little offensive. We had a discussion with the folks who just arrived here. And all of our... They all seemed as if they were alive again, which... Yes, that's also what we've observed in our... So if the results of this investigation would mean an end to those dreams, all of us understand the danger, but... Perhaps you can't quite... I don't think everyone will be on board with the plan to abandon these dreams before the conclusion of the investigation. They'll at least want to meet the people in their dreams one... We've never had such a difficult situation before. So they still want to return to their dreams despite knowing that... That's right. Compared with these sweet and beautiful dreams, our warnings sustain. The more time we waste, the more people will ignore our warnings and return to their alluring dreams. So, what should we do? Seems we have to go into a dream and find out the truth for ourselves. Pedrush, is there anyone here who- Ah, uh, let me think. Good. Please take us there. This lady refused to heed our warnings and fell asleep here a little earlier. Do we also need to fall asleep? Don't worry about that. I'm lesser alert now. Don't be nervous. Just close your eyes. You slowly wash over the shore. Traveler, you look a little disoriented. Oh, okay. Just remember that Paimon is always here for- Anyway, seems like we've made it into the- <sighs> I thought- Whoa, so many giant plants! Theoretically, we should have gone straight. Anyway, let's-
I see everything. Boom, boom. Incoming. Good. Dreams often portray a scene from real life, which really? But well, what about that space we were in just you can't mean this is a yes. Given that so many people have been compared to an interconnected dream, and Ah, oh, Paimon gets it now. Oh, but there are some other people next. If this space is exclusive to Debbie's dream, then the yeah, anyway, we should confirm that. Huh. How do we do that? Just leave it to me. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Huh? She sounds a I've confirmed that this dream belongs only to Debbie. So, this is the power of the dead- uh, I'm on a- <laughs> Don't worry. I don't often use my powers like this. It's rather impolite. All right. I need to get myself ready. The, the Great Dead Archon! I I'm sorry to interrupt your celebration, but... Have you I... I don't quite understand. I get it. The Dendro Archon is trying to say that it's a once in a life. Hey, how about a cup of coffee for all of you? My treat. We just return. Memories. Think carefully. You have all. Are you sure that meeting here and chatting the deal? Uh, uh, yes. The reports from the Steambird were true. And I never heard from Vasima and Gaspar. Hey, come on now. <laughs> yeah, trust your memories. Nothing you- I get it now, but since it's my dream, it doesn't matter if this is real or not. I and Jackie's friends mean the world to me. There's nothing wrong with continuing this dream. I'm worried that if you were to continue dreaming like this, the lines between these dreams will always give you what you want. Don't worry. I still have control. Are you sure? Hey, how about we put all this troublesome stuff aside and get back to our coffee and snacks, hmm? Whether it's just a dream or real life, you should be happy. You can't just brush off something like this! We don't even know how you people got here or where you even came from! <sighs> Sorry. Paimon didn't mean to upset anyone. No, it's alright. I understand that you're just- It seems that for now, this place is still relative- But I wonder if there's any way to go deeper into the dream. Huh. Now that you mention it, I won't- I'm not interested in checking it out at the moment, but- Okay. Thanks just as I expected. We're only on the surf. <laughs> uh, wait a second. 
mean, we were just up there. No, down there? Uh, did we go up or down? Don't panic. This is how dreams work. We've left Debbie's dream. But the dream is still... This dream has the ability to create imaginary people. If it weren't for what we just saw, Paima might still find that a bit hard. I have a guess. If these dreams are... The fact that Debbie was able to realize that she was dreaming, but the space we're in has been turned upside down. Oh, right! Dreams are chaotic. That's right. It's possible that we're heading deeper into this... Right! So the answers might be waiting for us deep... Yes. And we should get ready for whatever we may... It looks like we may need to put something inside there. Slime that's trying to keep out of sight. <sighs> Here we go again with that heat analogy. Ilman's dream. Huh? Why would he start dreaming again? Yes, but it seems that the danger isn't enough to stop him from longing for his wife. Based on what we've learned so far, he must be sleeping more deep. But fortunately, he already knows us from before. <laughs> I'll protect us. Oh, it's you! Incredible! I didn't know you would appear in my dream, too. Did you say dream? Wait, so you know this is a dream? Of course. Such good things rarely happen to me in- Here, let me introduce everyone. Hello. It's a great honor to meet the Den- Whoa, Dad! You know the Den- And what's this? <gasps> no, it's Paimon, not a toy! Uh, anyway, now's not the time for that! Nahida, this doesn't... Mm, uh, you're right. Let me think for a bit here. Oh, right. We didn't see him in a moment of dreams earlier. Paimon thought he'd gone home. Sorry. I just had to make sure that Hydar could get a chance to see her mother. I had gotten pretty familiar with the hike, so I brought Hydar with me. I'm just glad we didn't meet any monsters along the way. Yes, I'm glad too. <laughs> I didn't expect her to grow up so fast. It must have been very hard for him. 
I regret not being able to fulfill my role as a wife and a mother. No, don't talk like that. Let's leave all that unhappy s- What should we do now? You can... You can let me break the news. I'm sorry, but... I should tell you that your dream did not create us. Like the last time we met, we are still investigating the- So you mean... There's something no- Hmm? It seems... The reunion- Huh? Maybe... But... No. Oh, no, Mom, you can't leave! I'm afraid I don't quite understand what's going- Don't worry, Haidar. Mom's not going anywhere. Minar doesn't understand, and I'm fully aware that this is a dream. Never mind. I mean, I don't get any of the complicated stuff. Yes. Then please, let- Regardless of whatever caused this dream to come to pass, but does this dream- I'm afraid so. Okay. Please, come this way. I have heard that the further down you go, the answer you're looking for may also be found there. Thank you for helping us, and I'm truly sorry. You're welcome. It's not like I have any say in the matter. I'll be right behind you. I should have... Otherwise, my daughter might be mad at her mother after... We're not doing something... Bad, are we, Nahida? That depends on how you define good and bad. It's the same place again. This place is almost but they appear to be getting more and more aggressive. Regular stairs wouldn't try to attack right. Something seems to be off about Earth. Ilman is clearly aware that he's dreaming. Rather than dreaming on a deeper level, he almost... I believe we're on the right track. It's not that the dreams are getting deeper. It's the owner's attachment to the dreams, but you would never mistake dreams for real. Sometimes, Paimon almost wishes, but it's just a quick thought. It's not long before Paimon... Listen, we're real beings living in the real world. This also explains the insubstantiality of our dreams. But if we decide to abandon reality and embrace our dream... Oh, wait! Your mind will begin to build the dream far more attentively, which in turn will make it feel more real. Do you remember how the Akasha can turn dreams into Nyana energy? Constructing a realistic dream consumes a similar energy. Does that mean there's a host of these dreams here like Milu during this- If we wake that person up, this collective dream- Mm-hmm. Most likely. But the collective dream in Sumeru City was created by the Akasha. This has nothing to do with the Aranara, and humans are not capable of creating- Huh? So, did someone manage to- mm, that's impossible. But they are- Even so... Yeah, we haven't gotten to the end yet. Once we know their motive, all the questions- Dance. 
chance. before the water level rises. This should be the final... Huh? Really? Yeah! These are... I have powers related to dreams. So it's usually easy for me to tell who's dreaming and who's created by dreams. I guess only those who have thoroughly accepted th There are so many people here! How can we find the hose? Don't worry. I have... Always so calm. <sighs> I wish I were the same. He's just in an ordinary dream, so it shouldn't be him. <clears throat> I see everything. Shadia has such good taste. I can never go wrong with her opinion. No, it doesn't seem to be her. Always so calm. 
<sighs> I wish I were the same. He's just in an ordinary dream, so it shouldn't be him. want a dream to last forever. He's just entered the dream recently. It's definitely not him. However... Sometimes I wish Rakesh could be more assertive, but... I guess I'm also happy enough with the way things are. No, it's not her, unfortunately. You know, I've heard that plants grow up and on that note, it's been a while. Sorry, I've been a little busy these last couple days. Oh, the Dendro Archon. What a pleasant surprise. Hmm? Oh, welcome, great Dendro Archon. And your com- I'm Amira. I run the flower shop here. And this is my husband, Moses. Yes, how may we help you? You already know all about me. There's no need for- Perhaps I should call you... The Dream's owner? <laughs> As ex- I'm sorry, Amira. It seems my research has attracted the Dendro Archon's attention. Why don't you go back to the flower shop? I'll come help- Okay, of course, dear. I'll see you later. It appears that I was too naive to think I could deceive the Dendro Archon in person. To avoid looking like too much of a fool, allow me to ask the first question. How well would you say you understand this dream? This dream was built by the Akasha, and it has the power to create a mad ass for you. You found a unique way to be given up. The <laughs> Impressive. Please, tell me how you were able to arrive at such a conclusion. It's simple. Apart from you, this space only consists of real people who are dreaming and imaginary people who are created here. Although you are here and appear no different from the others, I- How can I wake up a person who's already- Fascinating. Since you're the fully awake owner of this dream, it can never collapse from you waking up. Theoretically, this should also give you absolute control over this place. But even knowing all of that, one question- Isn't the answer right in front of you, great Dendro Archon? I uploaded my entire consciousness into the Akasha when it was still running. Actually, this all started because of an accident. My original goal was not about the- No. You were motivated above all to create a hyper-realistic person. That's right. However, human models are too complicated. Only the Akasha is truly magnificent. If I siphoned a minuscule amount of its energy, even using just crude methods, I was still able to... I named my first work Amira. Huh? You mean the girl we just saw? She and I entered the Academia on the same day. Starting with admission procedures, we bumped into each other six times on just that first day. And because of that one day, we eventually went on to fall in love. We studied, conducted research, and made- Our rhythm was always in step. I felt like we were two separate bodies that shared the same heart. However, Elazar later took her from me. Yes, I need more training samples to perfect Amira's personality. I found their details in the Akasha's database. Using the pretext of testing for mental health disorders, I implanted signaling devices in their bodies. This way I could connect them to a network, and Amira could feel their yearning. Little by little, they helped her to grow and develop a warm, human personality. To improve my efficiency and allow myself to focus on nothing but my research, I uploaded my consciousness as well, and became a part of the network. Hmm. So, technically speaking... Yes. Because the Akasha was suddenly turned off, I lost all of my Nyana energy. I became imprisoned in the very network I had At first, I panicked. But, after coming to grip- That means... Everyone-
everyone in the network is prov- That's all there really is to it. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I'm just saving them. I provide a beautiful dream, and in return, I they can wake up any time they wish. People need to sleep anyway, so why- I agree. This is the home we spent a great deal of effort on to build for- Yeah, she's right. We're staying here of our own free will. I don't understand this at all, but I just want to sp- Thank you, dear. Great Dendro Archon. I hope you don't need to gather around here. The Great Dendro Archon is nothing if not kind and considerate. Uh-oh. Now he's playing dirty. It seems like I won't need you to answer my last question. You're willing to tell me all your secrets because you have nothing to fear. If you use real people as your weapon and turn them against their Archon... They just want to be with the people they cherish. I don't think there's anything wrong with me providing them with that opportunity. They don't wish to eternally part with their spouses and friends. What's so wrong about that? If you understood humans a little better, or had also experienced firsthand the absolute devastation of loss, then perhaps you wouldn't be so cold towards us. If you had used your talents and determination for a just cause, unfortunately, You've committed one of the six cardinals. You equated people's feelings with cold Nyana energy. And you lured them into these dreams, and even now, remain comp- Pain? Luring? Those kinds of things haven't existed here from the moment this world was created. She's right here. This is Ilman's child, Hi. Huh? My daughter? What's wrong with her? This dream relies on a set network. Which means that only those with devices play- Carefully think back and re- I... Secretly went back to the mountainside with Hydar. Ah, oh, you mean- No, because unlike you, she can't enter the moment you came into this dream. It created a Hydar to re- So, tell me. What She's still out there on the mountainside. That's right. And she must have been terrified to see her father not in his right... Not to mention the monsters in that area. If Hydar's still out there... What are you talking about, Dad? I must wake up right now! I can't leave her there alone! Oh. <sighs> it seems the others have also remembered something. People try to avoid pain, and stay in their perceived bubbles of safety out of an instinct to protect... However... Why are there still so many people striving to- It's because people don't only live- They have families, loved ones. But in this dream, you showed them only the most comfortable and soothing thing. It's all just a well-devised- It seems like I've stayed in the dream for too long. I still have so many things I haven't done. Huh. <laughs> I thought gods didn't understand humans. That I didn't expect you to arrive at the answer through sheer power of observation. If you wanted to spend a little time in the waking world, go right ahead. In any case, I wanted to spend some time alone with Amira. As long as this dream continues to exist, you'll come back. Humans aren't as strong as you think. And even if you're a go- It's time to purge all the extraneous- Up here and find somewhere safe. I am the master of this dream. I can create endless waves of monsters with the snap of a finger. Don't worry, they'll wake up before they get hurt. Amira doesn't like to see others in pain. If you know what's good for you, leave now! The law has loopholes. Minute to memory! Yeah, oh, I'm seeing stars! Oh, this way for me! Algae! Yeah, yeah, speed of light! Uh, when sword comes shadow! Yeah, yeah. Incoming!
You haven't won just yet. This dream is mine! If I go into hiding here, not even an Archon can ever find me. And as long as people yearn for happiness, they will return here and rebuild this paradise! <sighs> hey, Dad! <gasps> What's that? The dream is spiraling out of control and it's collapsing now. Oh no, Amira, Amira, Amira! <laughs> Amira, are you all right? I don't feel well. <laughs> No, no, no! Please, no! Get away from there! Don't ruin my flowers! What should I do? Where did... Go? Left because he doesn't want you anymore. Hit with sword comes shadow. Motion to compel. This may hurt a little. Share my knowledge. Don't blink. proficient in using the Akasha's technology, and he spent all, all the people he created also turned into mon- It's terrible! Even for- Even Paimon's freaked out! <sighs> Paimon can't imagine- The good news is that the chaos seems to have subsided. Now we only need to wake up the people here. Amira. But they're all gone. I couldn't change my fate. And why not? Do you still think this is our fault? I don't care. The Nyana energy used to sustain this dream has all been transformed into monsters. This dream let me disappear with Amira. It seems that everything that's happened is too much for him. He's I think seeing Amira turn into a monster was punishment enough for After comprehending the hollowness of the- Existence? <laughs> Using my knowledge of the Akasha, I have a way to ex- The Academia has probably kept your body, so you- No need. Just let me disappear. This isn't compassion. I won't let you escape your punishment by simply disappearing. As for your life after that... Alright, Traveler and Paimon. We should go back. We can finally wrap up this whole thing. Uh-huh. What's wrong, Nahida? Uh, oh, nothing. Uh, let's tell the people here to gather at a moment of dreams after they wake up.
Oh, great. You're awake. Everybody has started to wake up. And from the looks of it... Yes, though it took us a... There will be many people gathering here shortly. So please do... I need to go to the academia. Are we going to ask about that scholar? Yes, but it may take some time for him to wake up after his consciousness returns to his body. We can leave the rest to the Matra. The Great Dendro Archon. How can I help you? I would like to check the registration records of the Kasharu. Okay, just a moment. Sorry to keep you waiting, Dendro Archon. We have confirmed that there's a scholar named Benuni. He hasn't regained consciousness yet. And is. Huh? Isn't his name. I guess he didn't want to be recognized. Please, give the knowledge stored in this to the Matra and ask them to. Understood. But for safety reasons... It's simple. This contains his consciousness. He's committed an act that affected the safety of Sumeru. I see. I'll take... Mm -hmm. Nope. All right. Everyone should have got... and just listen in. I wonder what she's going to say. Hello, all of you who have just woken up. I'm sorry for interrupting your beautiful dreams. But dreams have amazing power. They inspire us to remain. But dreams also have the potential to exploit people, confuse the senses. As I've said before, I'm still learning. But just take a good look around you, and you'll see many other people who have had some... You should be proud that you've been able to gather here and look toward the future to get the path of life as long. And it's hard for us to see the destination. What's the meaning of life? What's the... Of course, the most comfortable choice is to stop... Whenever you have such thoughts, just look at the people and things. Some people work hard all day so that their families... Some people travel all over the world in order... Some venture in search of the world's secrets to prevent rapidly... A Life is not just about yourself. Each and every one of your... <sighs> look... Friends and family... Therefore, many people will strive forward to forge... Once you begin your journey on that same difficult yet rewarding path... But if you were to believe that life is nothing but an... You are free to choose how you want to live your lives, but at... In the end, it's up to you whether you want to... Nahida said she wanted to speak with us alone. It seems like she went to the plaza in front of the academia. You're a 
good at manipulating the wake, but that dream was incredibly beautiful and enticing. But as long as he can still wake up... Huh? What makes you say that? Right! You said that you didn't understand human feelings, but your speech just now really connected... <laughs> Thank you. I've heard a lot of... You can't say that the victims of the dream really did anything wrong. That's why I could understand them when they tried to resist... But all of my understanding and stirred feelings probably can't even... I don't think this 1% can be seen as an example of what you... You're too hard on yourself, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright. I suppose I've learned that emotions are nothing like knowledge. Benuni or Mercedes, said that I had never... Per the moment I entered the dream, I felt like I was wrapped in... It was so warm that it felt like I had... But when I opened my eyes, the feeling was gone with... If I have to make an analogy for it, I would say that now that I've experienced this dream, I... It's enough that I can tell I was once supported. If I dwell too much on its exact nature, I gave a speech to inspire my people. So if I were to fail to... Looking like there's something you want to say. Is there anything you <laughs> no, since we just woke up? Let's a new day is about to